Hello student, myself Pukharkar Sandeep, Head of Electrical Engineering Department, JSPM, Bhura by Saman Polytechnic. Today we are going to start experiment number 30 in the course subject Industrial AC Machine and our practical is to start and run 3 phase synchronous motor and forward and reverse its direction of rotation. So for this practical conduction, we require resources, 3 phase synchronous AC motor. Then for controlling the control panel of 3 phase synchronous motor, plus mechanical loading arrangement is available. It is a separately excited synchronous motor. So for this purpose, externally excitation, DC excitation, DC rectifier is required. For this purpose, we are getting 3 phase supply. AC converted into DC and this DC excitation is given to field of the synchronous motor winding. Our experiment number 13 start 3 phase synchronous motor and run it is in forward and reverse direction. So by using the synchronous motor industrial applications are performed lots of industrial application. For this purpose, students will able to relevant program outcomes, PO2 discipline knowledge, PO3 experiment and practices, PSO to test and maintain various electrical equipment and suggest remedial measures. So student will able to perform the practical and accordingly the uh, POs related POs are acquired from the students. Here circuit diagram is a given. 3 phase AC supply is required. We know that 3 phase 50 hertz AC supply we given 415 or 414 volt. It is ICTP switch. Here fuse are sold. It output is given to directly 3 phase auto transformer. Ammeter, hold meter are connected accordingly series and parallel given to 3 phase stator of the synchronous motor. Now field connection. Field is externally or separately excited. Now when the excitation is off, switch position is at 1, when excitation is a switch on, then switch position is at 2. The resources already we are taken, the tachometer required for the speed measurement, voltmeter required for voltage measurement, ammeter required for current of a synchronous motor measurement, 3 phase auto transformer, 3 phase synchronous motor, then reverse stat, then double pole, double pole, double throw switch. In this case, some modifications are required as per uh, available resources. We are using 3 phase synchronous motor plus control panel. Hence, 3 phase transformer not required, ammeter, voltmeter, tachometer required, and separately excitation, DC rectifier unit are required. Here is the observation and calculation serial number, stator applied voltage means applied voltage, holds line current, stator current, ampere. Switch position is given 1 and 2, 1 is a before synchronization, 2 is after synchronization and accordingly speed by using tachometer we are measure. Here is a synchronous speed already given. Here in this case this uh, number of poles is equal to 4 hence 120 F upon P 120 into 50 divided by number of poles 4. So by simplifying this synchronous speed getting required 1500 rpm then by reversing by changing the phase sequence the direction of a three phase synchronous motor get reversed and now we are going to verify the results verify how the synchronous motor direction get changed by changing the phase sequence now we are going to start our practical here first switch on the supply Whenever supply is a switch on, then first reset the button. Multimeter should be in a one condition. Here the input voltage 412 volt. Now it is the Here 2.26 is a synchronous motor current and now we are going to apply the rated voltage 
currently switch is at the one position so we require to measure the speed we require to go into speed the speed is now 771 now we are going to start the DC excitation separately here DC excitation is given we are giving 220 volt and now induction motor converted to inner induction mode to synchronous mode now speed become increases now the synchronous speed is going to be above the 1000 it is a 6 pole synchronous motor hence its synchronous speed is a 1000 it is a given beyond the synchronous speed Six synchronous motor current is a given by digital ammeter now here is a supply voltage 415 and accordingly we are going to now the reduce excitation Then shift of the excitation, then shut down or off the motor. So in this way, before synchronization and after synchronization, we are performing the practical. Now let's have a time to work acquisition time. Uh, first reading is supply voltage is a 415 volt. Second, its current is a 3.1 ampere. Switch position is at 1 means before synchronization. At that time, 770 rpm is our the speed of synchronous motor. Now, whenever we are at switch to position 2 means induction motor going to the synchronization phase. Its supply voltage is a 415. Current is near about 3.680 and synchronous speed means it is runs above the synchronous speed or near the synchronous speed in this way we are start the synchronous motor and its direction of rotation is a clockwise the synchronous motor direction is in a anti clockwise direction now we are going to change the direction of rotation by using changing the phase sequence here by changing a to phases here we are changing Y phase which is connected to R phase and R phase is connected to Y phase. Now we are going to start the uh, induction motor here by simply judge the direction of synchronous motor. Here direction of rotation is a change and it is a look like a clockwise direction means by changing the phase sequence the direction of synchronous motor get change in this way we are performing our practical the main objective of this practical is to start the synchronous motor and change its direction of rotation in first case means whenever its phase sequence is RYB its direction of rotation is a Clock, uh, anti clockwise and when we are getting change in two phases the direction of rotation is a clockwise accordingly before synchronization and after synchronization we are taking voltage current and the speed of three phase synchronous motor so in this way our practical is completed thank you thank you very much